short to eat bland, boring food. It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another what I ate in a day video. So today's video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market and I'll tell you guys a little bit about them later on. But today I wanna just kind of take you along with me on a day of eating and also show you guys some really easy, high protein, low calorie, delicious recipes. I am getting ready for hot girl summer. <laughs> Why is it so cringe? Why is it so cringe? One of my new favorite things right now is coming up with delicious, easy recipes that are lower in calories, but still really satisfying and still meals that I would eat, even if it wasn't lower in calories, if that makes sense. I wanna make meals that are super satisfying and delicious, but still support my fitness goals. Because I'm not a believer that healthy food or lower calorie food has to be boring or bland. I already actually filmed breakfast and lunch because I did not want to get ready until mid-afternoon okay i was doing a lot of computer work and i was like i'll just i'll just get ready later without further ado let's jump into breakfast here's what i had for breakfast <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? You came to visit me? Oh my god, you guys, this is the cutest little thing that Nadi's doing nowadays. She keeps wanting me to massage her paw. <laughs> and if I stop, she'll do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Are you the cutest thing I've ever seen? Let's see. <laughs> She's trained me well, guys. She's trained me well. Hello, I'm making breakfast. May I have breakfast? You already had your breakfast, unlike me. <laughs> okay, okay, I know, I love you too. Okay. Okay, I need to eat. Okay. <laughs> I know, you're happy, you're a happy dog. Okay. I gotta make food. Let me eat, please. For breakfast, I decided to make black bean tacos. So I'm taking this can of black beans that I got from Thrive Market and we are going to rinse it thoroughly with water. And I'm gonna heat up a nonstick pan and I add just a few sprays of oil and then we're gonna chop up some onion and also some bell pepper. <laughs> So we're just gonna cook up the onion and bell pepper for just a couple of minutes and then we can add the black beans. <music> to season, all I do is add some taco seasoning and salt and pepper and that's pretty much it. And of course, you can feel free to add other spices if you'd like, but I feel that taco seasoning, salt and pepper is more than enough. So I was gonna make tacos, but I realized that my uh, tortillas were a lot bigger <laughs> than I thought. I guess I got like a large one. Maybe it's like for fajitas or something, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna heat up the tortilla. So I'm just gonna make one big taco and I'm also gonna chop up some tomato. And now let's assemble our giant taco. So we're gonna add in some of that black bean mixture and I'm gonna save the rest for later. I think I can make about a total of three of these giant tacos. So I'm gonna save the rest for the next day. And on top, I added the chopped tomatoes and I'm also gonna add some vegan sour cream and of course some salsa. Oh my God, doesn't that look delicious? This is so good. <laughs> And on the side, I'm going to have a piece of fruit. Yes, I'm having an orange, so I'm just cutting that up. And that's pretty much my breakfast. Super easy, super simple, and um, very delicious. Very, very delicious. What do you want, miss? What do you want? And of course, I'll have a very similar black bean taco recipe linked below, so check that out if you wanna make this at home. All 
right guys, so that's what I ate for breakfast. And as I mentioned earlier, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. One of my favorite sponsors, we love them. If you guys have not heard of Thrive Market, they are an online membership-based grocery store and their mission is to make healthy living affordable and accessible to everybody. They're kind of like a wholesale online health food store. If you have a membership, you actually get their products at a discounted price, which is awesome. And they guarantee you savings, okay? They guarantee that you are saving money with Thrive Market. Amazing. And they're really great because you can actually find a lot of like specialty items, especially if you have dietary restrictions, like if you are vegan or gluten-free, they actually make it really, really easy to shop on their website. You can filter out vegan, gluten-free and other options. They have all kinds of things like thousands and thousands of products, tons of grocery items, of course. They also have household products like cleaning supplies and also beauty products like skincare and even makeup. It's actually really fun to shop on their website. They also have a lot of like vegan snacks and little goodies. So it's actually a really great place to find things that you might have a hard time finding maybe in your local area. So if you want to join Thrive Market, they have two different membership options. They've got a month to month membership, which is $9.95 a month. And they also have a yearly membership, which works out to be only $5 a month. All orders over $49 are shipped completely free with carbon neutral shipping. And they ship them from their zero waste warehouses. I don't know how they do that, but apparently their warehouses are zero waste, which is super awesome. So if you are interested in checking out Thrive Market, of course, I've got an amazing offer for you, which is 40 percent off your first order yes four zero percent off your first order plus a completely free gift worth up to fifty dollars yes you guys it's an awesome deal so make sure you check out the link down below and thank you so much to thrive market for sponsoring today's video hello cutie hi are you allowed to be this cute are you allowed I don't think it's allowed. Hi. So sweet. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna change and I'll take you for a walk. Guys, she doesn't understand the word walk because we always say it in Korean, but she'll understand it when I say it in Korean. Nadia. Sanja <laughs> kaka. Okay. Good girl, sit. Good girl. Hi. Nadi. Good girl. Nadi. Pop. Other pop. Good girl. Good girl. Nadi. Around. Good girl. <laughs> Now I'm gonna show you what I ate for lunch. Here we go. <laughs> For lunch, I decided to make an oil-free, healthy, and low-calorie pasta salad, which is super delicious. And I'm using these elbows that I got from Thrive Market. So we're just gonna cook up the pasta according to instructions. And in the meantime, we can prep the veggies that we're gonna add into our pasta salad. I'm starting with some bell pepper, of course. And I absolutely love adding red onion into my pasta salad as well. So we're just going to dice the red onion. For carrots and celery, I just kind of cut them into chunks and throw them in a food processor to grate them very easily. See, it only takes a few seconds in the food processor and it's pretty much ready to add into the macaroni salad, so it's perfect. And the secret to the healthy dressing is hummus. 
Instead of vegan mayo, I'm using hummus. And then I'm also going to add some red wine vinegar. You can use rice vinegar, apple cider vinegar, maybe even regular vinegar. I feel like it doesn't really matter. You can use white wine vinegar. I really like red wine vinegar. I feel like it has like a sweetness to it. Uh, I don't know, but I feel like you can use any kind of vinegar or even lemon juice. And then we're also going to add in some maple syrup. Of course, I got this at Thrive Market and we're just going to add that to add a little bit of sweetness. Then we want to actually mix it together. I decided to switch to a whisk because it's a lot easier and then it should create a really nice creamy delicious dressing that is super simple and easy to make. And once the pasta is done cooking, you can rinse it with cold water thoroughly so that it's nice and cold. And then just add it into that bowl with all of the chopped veggies. And of course, we got to add a protein in there. And for the protein, I'm using garbanzo beans, aka chickpeas, which of course I got from Thrive Market. And once again, you just want to rinse it really thoroughly with cold water. And then just chuck it into that bowl along with that delicious healthy dressing that we made earlier and then we just want to mix everything and it's super simple and easy it's completely oil free it's mayo free and it's still really really delicious and just tastes like you know a delicious macaroni salad and of course this is your macaroni salad so feel free to add whatever veggies you want feel free to omit anything that i used if you don't like it you know don't use it and you wanna give this a little taste and see if you wanna add any salt and pepper. I decided to add both and that's pretty much it. It is now ready for me to plate. And I just had a few green onions, so I'm just topping mine with green onions. And there it is. There is my delicious, healthy, high protein, oil-free pasta salad. And I made around two servings, so I'm gonna save the second serving for another day. And I'm gonna store it in these cute little containers that I got from Thrive Market as well. Nadi went home now. If you guys don't know, Nadi is my dog, my family's dog, our family dog, <laughs> yes. And she actually lives with my parents because when I first adopted Nadi, I wanted to adopt Nadi, but unfortunately I was living in an apartment that didn't allow dogs. I was like, I told my parents, I was like, I don't want to adopt this dog. And I think the initial plan was that she lives with my parents for like, you know, the time being. And then when I move into a place that allows dogs, then she can live with me. But by the time, you know, I had moved, she had already kind of like gotten used to the house. Like my parents live in a house with a yard. So it's obviously a better kind of situation for a dog and so she got used to it and of course my parents you know they won't admit it but you know they want her there <laughs> so yeah she does live with my parents but uh you know i watch her often and i go see her often so yeah i'm very much obsessed as you've seen okay well now i'm gonna do some work uh but i think i'm do i want a snack like i kind of want a snack i've been obsessed with this one snack lately Okay, let's make a snack. Okay, friends, I'm craving an acai bowl. I have been pretty obsessed with acai bowls lately. I think this is like the third day in a row that I'm making this bowl. It's actually not that hard, okay? It's basically like a smoothie bowl, but you use like a little bit of acai powder. So this is the one I'm using from Thrive Market. I just keep this in my freezer and then like, I swear it lasts like years. <laughs> I think I've had it for years. Anyways, very good. Don't know if it still has all the, you know, nutrients, but if you buy a new bag, it will. <laughs> all right, let's make the acai bowl. So I always like to use a food processor. I find that it just works better with like smoothie bowls. And I like to add one frozen banana. Oop. And then like some sort of berries. I'm gonna add some strawberries, some blueberries, frozen, again, frozen blueberries, frozen strawberries. You can also add like raspberries or something, I don't know. Okay, fantastic. And if you want, you can also add some pineapple. I like to do that too. Just a little bit of pineapple, okay. One banana frozen, and then maybe like a cup of like berries and other kind of fruit. Did this go bad? almond milk went bad. I hate when that happens. Listen, I don't really want to open another milk. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a bit of water and then I'm going to add like a non-dairy plain yogurt. Okay. I'm using a plain unsweetened coconut based yogurt, but you can use whatever like non-dairy. I'm going to add like third cup with a little bit of water. And then of course 
our acai powder. I think this actually makes like two servings. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have one and then like save the rest for later. I'm gonna put, how much do I wanna put? What did I put last time? I think I put like two or three tablespoons. I'm gonna put three tablespoons. Pretty generous with my acai powder. Use whatever you want. <laughs> And you know what? I'm actually gonna try this with protein powder this time. Sometimes I don't wanna add protein powder, but because I wanna make this last a bit longer in my tummy, I'm gonna add a little bit of protein powder, just like a scoop, but this is optional, okay? Hopefully it's still good with protein powder. Like I love protein powder, but sometimes it just kind of overpowers everything. Anyways, I think that's it. Let's blend this up. So I might need to add more liquid, but I just kind of see how it goes and then, yeah. All right, it should be good now. Look how smooth and delicious that looks. It seriously just reminds me of like ice cream. Like it's so good. It's like a healthy ice cream. So basically what I do is I just kind of like save about half of it and then I put it in the freezer and next time I want to eat it, take it out and it'll be kind of like rock hard for a little bit. But I just kind of thaw it out in room temp for just a little bit and then you should be able to eat it. This is saved for another day. My freezer is out of control. Oh God. That is it. That is it. Let's make our acai bowl. Now, if I had some fresh fruit, that would be nice, but I don't. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to do with this. So we have this lovely acai. Mm. And then I add, this is the best part. You wanna add some granola. This is homemade chocolate granola. I think I have a recipe video on this. I'll let you know, I'll find it. If not, you can add whatever granola you want. And I just top it like that. Oh my God, this actually is like so good. <laughs> There you go. Oh, I'm telling you, I crave this so much. <laughs> mm. Mm. The one good thing about adding the protein powder, well, two good things. First good thing is that it keeps you fuller longer. When I don't add protein powder, Yes, I taste more like the fruit, but um, it definitely like doesn't stay as long in my stomach. The second good thing is normally when I don't add protein powder, I add a little bit of sweetener. Like maybe I'll add a little bit of maple syrup or like a low calorie syrup, some kind of syrup to make it like a little bit sweeter. But once I add protein powder, because the protein powder itself is a bit sweet, I don't need to add any sweetener. So that's another thing. Mm. You know what? It's still good with protein powder. You just have to use like a protein powder that you like. Mmm. Mmm. This just like makes me feel like I'm in, you know, some kind of tropical place, you know? Mm. So good. Also, just a side note, like you don't have to add acai powder. <laughs> it's optional. I know it's like acai powder is a bit expensive. I know. Um, I think it's tasty, but you don't have to add it. You can still make like a really tasty like smoothie bowl, right? You can just make a smoothie bowl with like different fruits, whatever fruits you want to add. And then, yeah. <laughs> so you can just make a smoothie bowl. You don't have to make an acai bowl, but so good. All right, guys, so now I am just doing some work on the laptop. I have so much to do and uh, it's been a little stressful. I've been feeling very overwhelmed. So I was actually gonna go to a cafe to get some work done, but I think I might do that after dinner because after dinner is when my brain kind of shuts off, especially when I'm at home. When I'm at home, I just wanna like chill, do nothing. But if I do go to a cafe, I can actually work even if it's in the evening. So I think evening is gonna be the prime time for me to go and work in a cafe. So. That's the plan. I'm just gonna keep working and then I'll make dinner when I'm hungry and then I'll go to a cafe. That's my plan. <laughs> we'll see if I stick to it. I often change my plans throughout the day. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> All right, friends, it has been a few hours and I think I am ready. I'm ready to eat dinner. She's a little hungry. Okay, so I have a bunch of, oh God, you guys, my kitchen counter. Let me just tell you, I swear I clean it every day. <laughs> Maybe not every day, but I clean it a lot. But like, is there something on my face? No. Okay. I clean it, but then it becomes like this. <laughs> it gets like this, like in a few hours. I literally, this was clear this morning. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, story of my life. Let's make dinner. So I have... This rice that I got from Thrive Market, short grain brown rice. Now, for those of you that don't know, short grain is basically more sticky rice, okay? So yeah, that's what that's what it is, 
Okay. So if you're looking for like more kind of Korean style, Japanese style rice, then you're looking for short grain rice. Korean Japanese rice is always like a lot stickier than other types of rice. That's my rice preference. Okay, short grain. So anyways, I made this, um, I think like two days ago actually. So the rice is sitting in my rice cooker. It needs to be eaten. It needs to be, you know, it needs to be shown some love. So I decided I'm gonna make fried rice because I feel like I can chuck a bunch of things into the dish. I can chuck a lot of veggies in. So I'm just gonna make like a whatever fried rice. So yeah, let's like use up a bunch of my veggies. Woo woo. And then I think for the protein, we're gonna use the rest of the chickpeas. Actually, should I roast the chickpeas? Hmm. 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 Now I'm thinking, what should I do? Should I roast the chickpeas? All right, I've decided we're gonna roast the chickpeas or air fry the chickpeas to make them nice and crispy because I feel like it'll be good. I'm just gonna use this here. I'm just gonna add the chickpeas, the rest of the chickpeas. I used about like half a can for, what did I use the chickpeas for? What did I eat today? Oh my God, my brain. Oh, <laughs> I used half for the macaroni uh, salad, the pasta salad. So I'm gonna use the other half, but let's try to keep it oil free. Let's see what happens. So I think I'm gonna do, let's just add a little bit of, do I wanna add soy sauce? Sure. A little bit of soy sauce, just like eyeballing this right now. Okay. Pepper. <laughs> Garlic powder. And then maybe some smoked paprika. And we're just gonna mix it. I usually add a little bit of oil, but I feel like we can do it without. Let's just try. <laughs> Air fryer tray. You can do this in the oven, but it just takes forever. I also want to air fry some asparagus because I like bought this when it was on sale a while ago and I just did not uh, did not use it. So I should probably cook it up. I'm just gonna cook all of this and then eat you know some of it today and some of it later. I'm just gonna cut the ends and then put it in a bowl. So I have the asparagus in a bowl. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil by Thrive Market. Just gonna do half a tablespoon of oil. I'm just gonna like massage it in. Massage it in with your hands, my dears. Get it all in there. It's nice and slimy. Yeah, half a tablespoon is like more than enough. That's the trick, you guys. You don't wanna add too much oil. Like I'm not oil free, but I just try to keep it like minimal. Like you don't have to add so much. People just free pour oil like it's nobody's business. Okay, so now of course we gotta add garlic powder, my usual. I'm just gonna like free pour. I feel like spices, you can just free pour, like who cares? Next, I'm just gonna add Italian seasoning. Again, I'm just gonna free pour salt. Disperse the goodness, it smells delicious. Now we're gonna put it on the air fryer tray. Uh, hopefully it doesn't matter that it's overcrowded. And then I'm just gonna air fry this and the chickpeas together. Let's go to the air fryer. Okay, so chickpeas are already in the air fryer. Great, I'm gonna add asparagus. 400 degrees, let's start with 10 minutes. Now we're just gonna cut to some footage of me cutting vegetables. I'm gonna use bell pepper, leftover zucchini. I made zucchini noodles and I save like whatever's left over. Carrots, I'll probably use the food processor again cause it's easier. Leftover onion, yay. Let's cut. another eight minutes yeah i think we are ready to uh make our mail so i have some oil in this spray i use an oil spray a lot i've got a non-stick pan here i'm just gonna heat this up nicely so now I'm just going to start with cooking the onion and garlic first for a couple of minutes and then we're going to add in the zucchini and bell pepper. Cook that mixture for one to two minutes and then we're going to add the grated carrots and once again just saute, saute, saute. And I like to add a little bit of salt at this stage. Cook this for a bit and then I'm also going to add some green peas. I have so many green peas just sitting in my freezer. So I'm going to add that. I feel like it goes really well with fried rice. And then of course we can add our rice. To season, I'm going to start with soy sauce or tamari. This is a gluten-free soy sauce that I got from Thrive Market. I think it tastes, I don't know, 
the same as soy sauce. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna add that along with, of course, red wine vinegar, my favorite. Once again, this one is from Thrive Market, and we're gonna add that in. It seems a bit weird, but I swear it still tastes really good. Um, again, you can add rice vinegar if you'd like, or maybe apple cider vinegar if that is what you have. I'm also going to add some garlic powder because we love garlic powder. We're gonna mix this well and just cook it until it's cooked. <laughs> cook it until it's cooked yes and then at the end you want to turn off the heat and we're going to add some toasted sesame oil once again i got that from thrive market as well we're just going to mix that really well and that is pretty much the end of that you can give this a little taste and see if you want to add anything else but that's pretty much how you make it friends here is my dinner i am so excited the chickpeas actually turned out really well you don't need oil apparently i'm gonna eat the fried rice with some seaweed i got this from thrive market of course roasted seaweed guys if you haven't tried roasted seaweed you have not lived okay i'm telling you so i want to take a little seaweed take a bit of the fried rice wrap it up mm. Mm. I think it's my first time actually putting vinegar in fried rice and I don't know why I've never done it before, but I swear it's delicious. <laughs> I feel like vinegar like always enhances flavor. Anyway, a little bit with the roasted chickpea. Oh my God, looks so good. Mm. Mm. On the side here, I also have a little bit of water kimchi. If you wanna know what water kimchi is and if you want the recipe, I'll link it down below. Mm, it's so good. Mmm, it's my mom's recipe. Let's try the asparagus. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It's so good. Ooh, ooh la la. Okay, I'm gonna eat now. You guys, I should have known. Should have known this was gonna happen. <laughs> I had dinner and now it's already like almost eight. So now I'm making all kinds of excuses not to go to a cafe and just to like work at home. I think I can actually get some work done. What I will do is I will trick myself into thinking that I'm at a cafe by making myself a hot beverage, which will be a tea. I feel like when I have a hot drink in front of me, it like sets me into a little bit of work mode. <laughs> So I'm just gonna work for another maybe hour or so, not too, too long, just finishing some things up. But yeah, let's make some tea. Yeah. Is anyone else like me where you just tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna do this today. You know, this is the plan. <laughs> and then there's like a high chance that you just won't do it. I don't know. I don't know why I beat myself up though. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Like I have an office. I don't know why I don't work in my office. Eh, whatever. Let's make tea. See, who needs a cafe when you can make your own tea? <laughs> Cheers. It's too hot. Anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I don't see myself eating anything else. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna work for another hour or so and then maybe watch a little bit of tele while I walk on the treadmill Yeah, if you guys want some details on the food I made today I will have either blog posts or information listed below So make sure you check that out to make any of these recipes all of these were so delicious I am very happy with all the food I ate. I think every day we should strive to eat delicious food That's always my goal even if it's healthy or lower calorie calorie or whatever it is, I still make sure that it tastes good. To me, that's very important because you only get three meals a day. So, you know, life is too short to eat bland, boring food. <laughs> that's my perspective. Anyway, thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. As always, they are super awesome. Make sure you check them out. Get yourself that 40% off your first order and that free gift up to $50 value. Amazing. Thank you so much to you for watching today's video. Make sure you give this video a big Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.